It was a matchup of two of the top teams in the Big East as the Creighton Blue Jays hosted the Marquette Golden Eagles on Sunday, and Marquette got off to a great start. Uh, hit their first four shots of the game, built out a 13-point first quarter lead on the back of a really talented and powerful offense. Yeah, 29 points scored by the Golden Eagles on some great shooting, 11 out of 18 in that first quarter. We see a three-pointer there, and Creighton finally gets some things going, an inside move there, but it was all Marquette as they walked away with a 13-point lead at the end of that first quarter. Yeah, Creighton was able to cut back into it a little bit in the second quarter, getting within four, as we'll see coming up here. Audrey Faber knocking down the first three-pointer of the game for the Blue Jays. And Able to climb a little bit back into it, got within seven at halftime, but really Marquette controlled the, the entire first half and you felt like they felt good about where they were at. Yeah, you even see a three-pointer there by one of their bench players coming off, but a good touch pass there as Bailey Norby able to finish, but really Creighton decided about midway through that Second half, uh, we see some big players there, but they had to go small to be able to compete with this very fast Marquette team. Well, and they got some touches to Brianna Rollerson to start that second half, and that's what got Creighton back into it a little bit, and we'll see some of those shots here by Brianna Rollerson as the first two times she touched the ball in the second half. Those were buckets as she was held scoreless in the first half and then scored eight quick points or eight points there in the second half. You see Alizea Brockton there. She had a season-high 25 points. She had a double-double to go along with 11 rebounds. Sid Lamberty will talk more about her later with a bucket there, but Marquette just kept on top. Every time Creighton would make a run, Marquette came right back. That a three by Yentz. Yeah, and you felt like one of those three-pointers by Yentz in the corner was really going to, to do in the Blue Jays, but they were able to stay in the game. You talked about how good Alizea Brockton was, but it was a couple of late turnovers for the Golden Eagles. The Golden Eagles led. 39 minutes in this ball game, but we're here recapping a Creighton Blue Jay victory. Yeah, as you see, Lauren works hitting a big three there, getting Creighton back to within three, but then King coming back with a good, or that was blocked and rather with a good move to the basket, but a little sweeping hook by Sid Lamberty, and that was a fifth part of a 15-3 run at, in the last three and a half minutes. We see Lamberty again right there as Creighton is able to pull this one out in the last 30 seconds, winning this one 80 to 77.